Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Ladies Listen Up. What is your relationship with your money? Wow, yes, we have been all over the place a little bit talking about the overall wellness of life, right? So today, I want to bring back some more information about about our money, right? Getting those portfolios together, ending the year with a bang and going into the next year. Amazing, right? Before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share this information with somebody else. Go nudge your girlfriend and say, come on over to Oasis Women's of Life. She got you covered with some good things about our coin, our purse, our bag, whatever we want to call it, our stacks, our whatever we want to call it. We're going to talk about our money, right? Let me grab Grandma's cookie jar. Oh, I'm all over the place right now. I'm excited because, wow, this is almost the end of the year. And how many things, what have you gotten accomplished? What have I gotten accomplished for the year, right? Let's just review it. Let's see. Take a sip of this tea first. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, I got my ginger back and I'm in my happy place. All right, Grandma's cookie jar for the day. Grandma's cookie jar says, Oh, that's the one, because I saw it the other day, and I said, nope, we're going to put it back in, because this one, I did a short on it, but make your reasons better than your excuses. That one, it just hit me hard. I said, you know what, that one can't just go in the cookie jar and stay. Trust your crazy ideas. Man, the trust your crazy ideas, that's a good one, too. Let's talk about that one just a little bit first. You know, I hope everybody is doing well. And uh, let's talk a little bit about trust your crazy ideas. Wow, if you're like me, I am, first of all, understanding and analyzing who you are, right? What's in the core of you? So trusting your crazy ideas, everybody that know me knows, man, I'm here and I'm there. And I'm like, okay, now it's time to focus, right? But what I learned was that, you know, sometimes you can build a little bit here, build a little bit here, build a little bit here, but it all ties in together, right? And it becomes a, a, a becomes like a conglomerate, if you will. And I think that is so amazing when you can put your ideas and your thoughts down. But guess what? What I learned was you can accomplish anything that you put your mind to, right? However, it takes the right atmosphere, the right people. It takes our mindset. It takes for us to develop ourselves in our personal professional development. And how do we do that? You know, we we make sure that we're surrounded by the information, whether it's by reading a book, whether it's by, you know, listening to uh, professional or personal development uh, tape, CD, whatever you want to call it. I know here I go dating myself, but whatever, however you get your, your information, MP3, MP4, you know, YouTube, however you get your information. But constantly, it's a consistent building of that muscle, which is your mind. I show my journal. This is another one of my journals, right? Show my journal because... I looked at 2022 and I said, what have I accomplished? Have I accomplished the things that I wrote down? And see, that's how we can make things, you know, measurable, right? How we can quantify things by saying, okay, I'm going to write it down. This is my starting point. And then by a certain time, that's what my, you know, my, I expect to accomplish this goal. Now, sometimes you have to pivot, right? So let me tell y'all about a pivot. Mmm, doing my cookie jar. Got to get out the way today. Got to sit it out the way. So, I tell you this story, right? I was in the middle of writing or finishing my my second book, which is the Daddy Daughter Dynamic, right? I was in the process of finishing that when you know now my partner and you know I was seeing my partner because you know this person is absolutely phenomenal. You can get a you can make a connection with somebody that really really you know becomes a win win, right? So my coach, my mentor, you know. And, and you could have multiple coaches and mentors, you know, but we were in the process of putting together some projects and, you know, just finding out, you know, what it was that, what do we want things to look like as far as, you know, uh, business, online business school, it's FYMOC, Finding Your Moment of Clarity is, is one of the programs, but we're in the process of doing that and seeing what, you know, what makes sense in our collaboration when a program came, and I'm saying pivot, right? We're talking about the pivot. Program came along, and we said, you know, we're not going to put anything else on our plate. We're going to just stay focused and get these things off of our plate so that we can be successful in each area, right? We talk about asset diversification. So in asset diversification, we talk about focusing on one thing and then, you know, letting that asset create another asset or the return on investment to create another asset. But what I got really excited about was first he did come to me with the idea of, you know, this specific investment that I'm talking about. And it is one of our tools, right? 
But he came to me with that tool and, you know, we looked at it and said, okay, let's just invest. But as we start investing, we said, you know what? Wait a minute. There is an affiliate program to it. So the affiliate program was just absolutely phenomenal. So we said, okay, let's run with it for about 12 months and let's see what happens. And let me tell you, amazing, amazing. And we celebrate accomplishments. So this was not just, this is one of the milestones, right? Me getting, being able to accomplish a goal that I didn't even have on my specific in my journal. I had the goal of becoming an investor, investing in, in multiple streams of income. Remember what we said about multiple streams, meaning meaningful streams that are bringing in you some passive income because you want to get passive income while you are working on your active income, right? And so when that came about, I was really, really excited. I just want to share this accomplishment, right? One of the accomplishments. And you check that off on your box, right? So that's how you put together your you know, when you're looking at where do I start? This is my goal here. And now I'm going to move towards my next one, right? Towards the next goal. But towards the next goal is accomplishing one thing, accomplishing the next thing, accomplishing the next thing and checking it off. So when I look back at my in my journal, and I'm talking a lot about journaling because it's very, very important. So I look back at my journal from 2022 and I was able to check off most of the boxes. And the boxes that I wasn't able to check off, guess why? Because I pivot. I did a pivot and I said, you know what? That's not the direction I want to go in anymore because this one is more more in alignment with exactly what the goal and mission is. So I hope that makes sense to you. So when you say trust your crazy ideas, tease them out. Find out in those ideas, is this something that I want to, what do I want to accomplish? And how is this helping me to accomplish that goal, right? And then when you look over, you say, okay, this is a great idea. Tease it out and see what it takes. You know, prime example, I started a daycare when my children were, were babies, right? Because I mean, I had twins, so it made sense. Start a daycare. You already have cases of diapers around here, cases of bottles, so you may as well add some more children to the mix and get paid for it, right? Crazy idea, right? My idea was 24-7. Do a 24-7 daycare. <laughs> wow. I didn't tease that out very well. Lasted a year, and that was it. I said, I'm done. Little lady in the shoe, let somebody else know what to do, right? But think about it, though. We have all of these ideas all day long, every day. Start writing them down and journaling those ideas. Tease them out. And in one of those ideas, I promise you, it's, it's a successful idea. It's a successful business. It's a successful, you know, even a collaboration, you know, can be a successful collaboration. But I showed those accomplishments because, again, when you go into make your reason better than your excuse, I could have pushed it off and said, you know what? Mm, no, not this year. Mm, no, not this year. And you look up and what? Your 20s are gone. 30s are gone. 40s are gone. 50s are mid gone. And you look up and you live most of your life and have not accomplished that which you set out to accomplish. So today's podcast was just to encourage you to make your reasons better than your excuses. Well, our excuses cause us to procrastinate. Put it off, put it off, put it off, put it off. Make this the year that we say, ah, pump the brake. No more putting it off. No more tomorrow. We're going to do it today. So I encourage everybody to get out your journals. We have the link in the description below as far as where you can just click on and go ahead and purchase your journal. Or just, you know, a couple of them. I have cases of them that I've, you know, different programs or give them away as gifts. But it encourages us to take our thoughts out of our head and put them down so that we can start putting some action behind it. So this year, 2023, we're all about action. What is the action behind the plan? So this is a good time to shake it off and to get your plans in order. All righty. Wanted to make it short, sweet, and to the point today. All right. So it's all about getting your goals together, setting them up, writing them down, putting a date on them, and then moving forward. And every time you get it, put a date on it. This is when I want to accomplish it. You may be able to move that, or you may move the barometer a little bit, but at least it's out of your head. And it's not a, just a, a something that, you know, something that flew, flew by you. Now, you can't act on every thought or every good idea, but make that one idea stick. All righty? All righty. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Listen, learn, and leverage the information. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Oh, stay fearless.